Uh, Reverend Al, uh, let's talk about your weekend in South Carolina. How's Jim, first of all? How's Jim Clyburn doing? He's doing very well. He had a very, very successful weekend. His annual fish fry was off the charts. God, <laughs> you, now, you, what kind of fish was it? Because oh. I'll tell you, in Northwest Florida, we'd always have fried mullet. What, what, what? what, 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 do, they, what do they serve at Jim's uh, fish fry? He had a lot of uh, whitings and fried fish. I got in very late, but it was... Uh, Seemingly, everyone was satisfied, and mm -hmm. and he had a more than uh, capacity crowd. Let's put it that well, way. Well, Rev, with your felt figure, you probably were eating <laughs> tofu in the corner, not letting anybody <laughs> see <laughs> see the, the tofu salad you were having. Uh, I don't even know if there's such a thing as tofu yes, there is. salad. Yes, there is. You'll have one today. Uh, no, I will never yes, will, Nick, ever you. have one. Oh, bring me the I, fried I, mullet. Bring it on. And a PBR, even though I don't drink. So, Rev. Um, uh, fascinating weekend, and you sure had a fascinating interview with Joe Biden. What did you learn? What was your gut? Well, Joe Biden had said to me uh, months ago that he would do his first national cable interview with me, so this was already set. I wanted to bring to him my concerns that I disagreed with his language, though I understood his point in terms of using the language of boy and son because of the racial sensitivity that I and, and many had about the term boy, and especially in a racial context, and about normalizing segregationists. Yes, if you're engaged in trying to get something done, you're going to have to work with people that you absolutely disagree with but don't normalize them and civilize them and I tried to get him to see that and deal with that and he said he understood it but he would not apologize for it where we differed I think Joe and Mika that a lot of confusion that I've heard is this is not generational John Lewis and others that defend him are 15 years older than me I'm uh, Cory Booker is is closer to my age than I am to theirs but I think that it's a matter of function some people fight hard and try to get things done and have to deal with people that <clears throat> oppose them. Other people take these ivory tower analyst views and become purists because they've never had to try to engage and get things done. Now, can I just but say something? Right, 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 right now, very right, hurtful. Can I just say, right now, Morning Joe, <laughs> we try not to be personal and yeah, launch personal civil, attacks. And civil. you start talking about ivory towers and never having to really get anything done. Poor Eddie Gloud Eddie. Jr., he knows you're talking about him. Yeah, and that really hurts <laughs> no, him. I didn't even know. I didn't know Eddie was there. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no, talking no. about the broad no, we're, picture. We're, we're, we're joking. Eddie, actually, when you started saying that, he was joking. You kind of rolled his eyes. Oh, boy. That's my life. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? Eddie, why don't you have the next question uh, from your ivory tower yeah. uh, for Reverend Al. <laughs> Reverend Al, what do you make of, uh, of uh, Vice President Biden's reluctance to, to apologize? Is he kind of taking... Uh, a page out of the Trump playbook because you gave him, you threw him a softball. I mean, it was slow. It wasn't a fast pitch softball, but he's, he wouldn't swing at it. What, what do you make of that, of that strategy, of that tactic? I, I really don't know, and I don't think it was a softball. I think I went right at telling him that they would not call me his son, his uh, a boy. Mm -hmm. I don't think his people thought it was soft at all. I do not understand why he just can't say, this is what I was trying to say, and therefore I apologize uh, for the implication and move on. And I know that there are a lot of the people around him, Cedric uh, Richmond, who, f who was former chair of a Black Caucus, who's younger than you. Uh, is, is one of his main guys. I think he's the vice chair of his campaign. He's certainly conscious and woke. So I, I don't know where he's getting his counsel. I don't know if it's where he does, if he feels he starts apologizing for this, they're going to make him apologize for 50 other things. I don't understand it. I don't agree with it. But I don't think that Joe Biden has, uh, has, has had a background that I can say in the last several years has not been consistent with a lot of the things I agree with. In the 90s, we fought over the crime bill, but I think that I've gotten to know him and think that he speaks in a way that is not really, really sensitive, but that mm -hmm. he's certainly a lot better than Donald Trump. Yeah, by the way, kids, if you're scoring at home, when the Rev says woke, that does not go in the positive. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, let me ask you this, Rev. Uh, a lot of other candidates were down there. Was there a particular candidate other than Joe Biden who obviously 
is very popular uh, with black voters in South Carolina. Uh, any other candidates break through? Yes, uh, uh, Kamala Harris was very, very well received, very popular. I think she did very well. I think Cory Booker was very well received. I think uh, Bill de Blasio uh, was given a good reception. But I tell you this, Joe and Mika, going into the debates, watch out for Tim Ryan. I was yes. very That's impressed. That's what Joe says. I, I was impressed with how he was received. And I think that being that he's on the first night with uh, Elizabeth Warren on stage, he may carve out a centrist lane because he's not on the stage with Joe Biden. And he may carve out a centrist lane that if Joe Biden starts to fall, he could uh, rise in that centrist lane. I was very impressed and surprised like by his impact. Yeah, yeah, I agree. One of the Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.